Good morning, good girlfriends. Shout out to my tribe. Y'all know who y'all are. I am on my way to my sales meeting for work. I just dropped Samad off. If you're new to my channel, Samad is my sweet baby boy son. He is, he'll be 34 weeks on Wednesday. It is a Monday. So that's seven months, almost eight. Wow. I have been a mom for eight months. That is bananas. Anyways, I wanted to come and chat with y'all. Oh, also, if you're new, my name is Soleil. Of course, this is my channel. This is my sacred place. People can't drive in Virginia. I live in Virginia. Folks can't drive. This is my sacred place, my little corner of YouTube where I come. And I found out recently through somebody that I know that me recording and expressing and emoting and coming here to connect with people, like-minded people, is my way of therapy and I never looked at it like that and it's so true like it's really true so um we talk about things all things authenticity self-realization self-actualization we talk about our strengths our weaknesses um our traumas how we are healing how we're growing from them we talk about things holistically we talk about the holistic life all that good stuff and we real back circling back to the authentic thing authentic thing whatever mood i'm in if i feel like filming that's what y'all gonna get now i will say you you probably won't see me too turned up on here because it's just y'all don't y'all can see that side of me in person or something but um I'm, I'm very multifaceted but this is just like i said my corner where i get to come and express whatever it ain't always be good good bad ugly and indifferent okay anyways now that we got that out of the way thanks for joining if you have not actually joined the tribe go ahead and hit the subscribe button and make sure you turn your notifications on to all if you prefer to do that that way you're notified every time i uh, make a video um i work in the real estate industry <clears throat> on my way to go do that now i love my company i love my job um but I am still a creative person, and the reason I like the position that I'm in now at my job is because it allows me to it, al it allows me a schedule where I can do things like go to the doctor, take my son to the doctor, um, get my car fixed, have a mental health day during the week, and not just wait till the weekend when you really want to just you know turn up or relax or do nothing. You know what I mean? Um, but it also allows me to, to show my creative side as well. So I've been into modeling. I've been into event planning. I've been into um, volunteering, community work. I've been into um, RVA Fashion Week as a director, behind the scenes. Instead of being a model, just been behind the scenes and coaching other people. So right now, my focus is on raising my son, of course, first. And then working, raising my son slash family, um, working you know, saving up for us, making sure we're good financially, and then all things creative. I have to have a creative release. I have to. So my creative release right now, because that sometimes changes, um, is RVA Fashion Week, coaching models and directing models and being there for them and helping them feel their best. And also on the side, I also offer private runway classes. Um, so I have a my youngest student. She just turned 11. I've never worked with anybody her age before but I, I'm actually finding that it's quite fulfilling as well because her parents um, had her start working with me because she needed some help in the confidence area and she also wanted her to know some runway techniques so I, I don't call myself a model coach they call me that at RBA Fashion Week but my title outside of that like in real life what I call myself is a runway etiquette coach I teach poise and confidence and then some runway runway technique so Anyway, that's just a little spiel on me if this is like your first time hopping on my channel. And I'm sure some of my good girlfriends have learned a little bit about me as well. Um, so yeah, that's that. Life is good. It ain't perfect, but it's good. I came to talk to y'all today about something that's been on my mind the last couple of days. Um, honestly, a couple of weeks, just on and off. Um, 
as you see it's a lot of changing you know going on in the world right now and it's a time to be alive child times at times it's great and it's glorious because you see things like all of these pageant girls miss america miss universe all of those girls there's somebody i'm missing are black what a time to be alive right and then it's just a time where it's challenging for a lot of people where they are figuring out who they are who they want to be in this world what they believe in and it's just a lot you know um people are finding their own path in their own way whereas before it, it seemingly at least where we live in america it seemed like most people chose the same same route um, not all but most a majority because of lack of information and being able to connect like we are super blessed to have the internet what what we do with it all the time ain't right but you know just our ability to connect learn and grow um is fascinating and out of this world because of the internet but on the flip side of that you know it's a lot of stuff coming up to the surface to be dealt with and i don't think people realize that like they're like why is all this stuff coming out you know people are up in arms about you know racism you know that's it's huge it's coming back up to be dealt with though we ain't coming back to stay here like we dealing with this and we moving on it's, it's gonna be a new change and a new era that's the way i see it so with that said um i'm starting to see a shift in relationships and not just romantic relationships but just relationships in general um i'm raising a son and i'm i have to be as a black woman very intentional about raising my son in the way he shows up in the world um, with his father's help, of course, but I just know that, you know, being a woman and taking my experiences and I have to remember those to be able to teach my son how he's supposed to show up when he's dating people. Um, so I have to be intentional about that because, you know, as a black woman, our experience is a little bit different, you know, because of in my case broken families you know not coming up with two parents so you show up in relationships a certain way because you didn't grow up with both parents now my granddad and my mom we were all living in the same house and my twin they raised us but he wasn't my dad the guy that helped birth me you know what i mean but um my actual father there was a hole left in me because i didn't know who he was um well i knew who he was well it's a long story <laughs> But I'll tell y'all about that later. Um, but yeah, there was a hole there. Um, so I dated in a certain way and subconsciously, definitely, because I didn't know. I was, you know, looking for things or attracting certain men because of that hole. Um, so, you know, even though Samad's dad and I are not together, I mean, we were madly in love at one point, or at least I was. <laughs> at one point and then he was at another point i just don't think it was at the same time but we were connected um very heavily we kind of still are even though we're not together i think he's somebody that's always gonna be close to me but even though we are not dating and he's not going to be able to see his parents grow up you know in the same household raising and loving on him we i know i am I, we have to be intentional about still being that um that source of love and that source of safety for our son so he can come to us and talk to us about anything. I want my son to be able to discuss anything with me. And if you feel like he can't with me, go to your father and vice versa. Um, I don't want to raise a son in this world to, to, to go out and date any of y'all's girls and be emotionally unavailable. I don't want that because that shit hurts. And I, I've dealt with emotional unavailability a lot in my life. And it hurts. And it's like the reason I'm still in therapy. You know, um, now therapy is not, you don't always have to look at it as like a bad thing, like something that has to be quote unquote wrong. I personally believe that therapy should be a part of your holistic routine, such as going to the doctor and the dentist. It's the same thing. Just go get a little checkup every now and again. If you do have a major event or life issue that happens or it changes in your life, you need to go and go regularly until you feel like you don't need to go anymore. Um, so I just don't want him to be a source of pain for other people. Now we all... I think we've all hurt somebody um, unintentionally before. I'm not trying to shield him from hurt, um, but I, what I want to do is shield him from hurting people intentionally. Actually, when you're emotionally unavailable, you hurt people unintentionally as well, unless you know that you're just not emotionally available. So, you know, of course, again, I can't protect my child from everything. I'm not going to aim to do that. But there are some things that as his mother and as his parents, we have to equip him with 
so he knows better. You know, things are coming up again to the service to be dealt with in our families, in the world, in our personal relationships, interpersonal relationships. It's time to start dealing with that stuff and to have health, healthy, whole human beings out here. You, you got to deal with that stuff. You got to go sit in therapy and figure things out about yourself and how you were raised and, you know, uncover those things so you can change the cycle, you know, and switch things up with, with your children. So that's what I'm doing. That's where I'm at. And it's my prayer that more people out here are doing that. Even if you're not raising a son, even if you're not raising a black son, even if you're just raising a daughter, Chinese, green, blue, white, purple, whatever. I just pray that we are doing what we need to do as this world gets crazier and crazier to make sure that our homes are at least intact because if everybody's home is intact then the world gets better yes good and evil exists but again it's a lot of good out here and i don't want to overlook that um but you still have to do your part you know michael jackson said it best start with the man in the mirror start with you and your household that's all you can worry about you can't worry about everybody else but i made it through what i made it through in life because my mom and my family good southern roots um were planted and I've been through a lot of shit, but I believe I came out because of my faith in God and because of the pl the, pl the the roots God put in me before my family, um, just who he made me to be, but also, you know, the roots and, and morals that I got from my family as well. So you always go back, train up the child the way they, sh they should go. You always go back to what you know, you know, even when you steer away from what you're supposed to be doing, you get back on, on, on that path. If, if that's what you truly want to do and you got faith so um i just wanted to say that like it's been heavy on my mind i don't even think i got to my actual point my actual point was how sad i am that it, there's so many men in the world that, that that refuse to emote because they've been taught not to emote as boys when they cry people don't allow them to express themselves if you fell on the ground and scraped your, your flesh on concrete you're gonna cry that hurts I'm not doing that to my son. This is Those are the subtle ways that you teach men that it's not okay to have emotions. Teach them how to process through the emotions. Um, I don't want some woman to end up with my son or whoever he chooses to date and feel like they trapped because they feel like they're talking to a brick wall, you know, because he can't process his emotions or understand where they are, meet them in the middle. I don't want that. That's I don't want that. I've been in relationships like that and it and it hurts. It's it doesn't fulfill me. There are some people that have been in long standing relationships with people but they're not happy. They're dealing with somebody that don't express themselves, that can't emote and they're not happy. How do I know? They vent to me about it. You know, so um it, it just makes me sad. So I, my my goal, my sole purpose in life right now is just to make sure my kid can really, really express himself and be happy and whole because when you hold feelings and things inside it come it manifests into different things it manifests into anger into depression into physical ailments into pain in your body that shit is deep so again i want my kid to be healthy all the way around and i don't want him to be unhealthy because he doesn't know how to open his mouth so um and the last thing I'll, I'll leave y'all with is, you know, people talk about abuse in relationships. I know I'm all over the place, but these my thoughts are just flowing. Um, there is also a such thing as emotional abuse. And I don't think people, enough people talk about that. So you got physical, you got sexual, you got mental. There's also emotional. You know, if you are with somebody and you're trying to, pro, you're trying to process an argument or a long long-standing issue in a relationship and you are the only person talking about it and this other person simply refuses to meet you midway and talk about it and process and get through it or they use their silence as abuse that's emotional abuse they know what they're doing when, they, when your partner knows that they are withholding information from you on purpose or they know that they're um you know withholding having a conversation and it has to be on their terms that is emotional abuse when they see that you're hurting and you know, you want to get past an issue and it's, it's, it's ongoing for weeks and months and years. That's when they know what they're doing. That is abuse emotionally. So you don't want to raise people that use their silence as a weapon because that you can also use your silence. If you, like if you're in an argument, and you, you opening your mouth and ain't making it no better. That's one thing to just step away and say, all right, we can't have this conversation right now. But for that person to say, nope, we ain't talk about it, period. Like, and, and try to make you upset. That is emotional abuse. We can't, y'all, we got to break this cycle with with our men not being there for our women. Um, me personally, I'd rather, 
I can do good by myself. I don't want to be bad with you. I don't like the saying I can be bad all by myself. It's true, but I say I can be good by myself. So um, we're not getting in any more relationships, relationships with people that are not emotionally available and um, don't value communication. Anyways, I am really done rambling because that's all that was. But it was on my heart. And it's just something I'm really passionate about, um, about raising somebody that is just present. Present. That lives out loud, that understands communication is vital to any type of relationship. Um, and somebody that just knows how to articulate themselves in, in a way that gets them what they want in life. And that and that helps them create and, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Maintain healthy relationships. That's with a partner, with their friends, extracurricular things, whatever. Just... Let your kid show. give your kid what they need so they know how to show up for themselves in the world. That's it, y'all, because I'm running out of words. I'm like starting to get mumbo jumbo going on. But I hope y'all have a blessed, blessed day, child. I'm off to this potluck, girl. They're having a potluck at work, child. They're having a potluck. <laughs> it may be better than what I'm anticipating. I'll come back and let y'all know later. But, child. Also, after this video, I'm going to be posting um, me getting ready for the holiday party. So, the holiday, like, dance party was the one that I went to. And I'll be showing y'all a video of that. Um, but uh, today, I'm going to a potluck and a gift exchange. Like, the little elephant gift exchange. Do I have my gift? Yes, yeah, down here. Um, so, that should be fun. I'm going to show y'all my pants real quick. That's what I got on. I got those from CVS or Walgreens, one of them. But, alright, y'all. Peace. Have a fantastic day, honey. Bye.